is action-packed football, featuring the Washington State College Cougars, one of the West's most exciting football teams, seen each week meeting a top gridiron power. Hello, everybody. This is Keith Jackson, and uh, on the field below, you see the Washington State College Cougars wearing this afternoon the white uniforms. The Cougars are on the road, meeting the Northwestern University Wildcats at Dyke Stadium in Evanston, Illinois. A beautiful afternoon for football, and we should have quite a show for you. The Northwestern Wildcats, coached by Eric Parsigian, are opening their football season this afternoon against the Washington State Cougars. The Cougars having defeated Stanford in the opening ball game 40 to 6. This is the, the longest jaunt of the season for Washington State, traveling from Pullman to uh, Evanston, Illinois, which is located very near Chicago. Immediately behind me, the Chicago skyline. And located in the opposite direction, you have Lake Michigan. A soft breeze blowing here this afternoon. A beautiful day for football. Both teams are in good condition. And uh, we look forward now to the starting lineup. So let's check down below. With the 150 piece Northwestern University marching band on the field down below, let's quickly check the starting lineups as we near the start of the football game. At left end for Northwestern, Albert Kimbrough, number 86. At left tackle, number 78, Andy Spurco. At left guard, Joe Abatello, number 60. At center, Jim Andriotti, number 56. At right guard, number 70, Russ Asala. At right tackle, Gene Gossage, number 72, a big fella. At right end, number 84, Doug Asad. At quarterback, we'll have a sophomore this afternoon. Ron uh, Dick Thornton, number 10, at left halfback, number 22, Ron Burton, at right halfback, number 41, Wilmer Fowler. He is the Big Ten Sprint Champion, and down below, the band has uh, changed into uh, WSC, and now they'll go into a big end. At fullback, number 31, Fred Hecker. Now for Washington State College, at left end, it'll be Don Ellingson, number 87. At left tackle, Dan Deerhire, number 76. At left guard, Dick Farrar, number 63. At center, number 52, Marv Nelson. At right guard, George Sumnes, number 69. At right tackle, Merle Hitzel, number 73. At right end, Gail Cogdill, number 89. At quarterback, we'll have Bob Newman, number 24. At left halfback, Bill Stagger. Stagger will be wearing number 86. At uh, right halfback, number 23, Leroy Rath. And at fullback, number 26, Carl Ketchy. Down below, you have the captains of the two teams. For Northwestern, it's Jim Andriotti. And for Washington State College, Don Ellingson, meeting with a referee. It appears the Washington State College Cougars, wearing the white uniforms this afternoon, will be kicking off. And the Northwestern Wildcats will be receiving. The wind is blowing from the northwest. A very soft breeze. And we're standing by now for the start of the football game. A change in the lineup. Keith Lincoln kicking off. Bravelli is at guard. And Lincoln booms it deep into the end zone and out of the end zone. It'll be first down. Ten yards to go for the Northwestern Wildcats wearing the dark jerseys this afternoon. First down and ten to go on their 20-yard line. Northwestern now out of a split tee. It is given off to Burton. Burton at the right side. Finds some room. Crosses up to the 20... Four-yard line, second down, six to go. Thornton is your quarterback. Thornton keeping it, being pursued, in trouble, and he's dropped back on the 15-yard line, a loss on the play of nine yards. Make it third down and 15 yards to go, and Keith Lincoln shot the gap and got him. In motion is Burton. Pitched out to Burton. He's got a blocker. Up to the 32-yard line, it's a first down for Northwestern. Again on the play of 17 yards. Wildcats have the ball. They go into illegal motion, and uh, the Wildcats will draw a five-yard penalty for illegal motion. That'll cost them five. It'll, the down will remain the same. It'll be first down and 15 yards to go. The Cougars decline the penalty, and once again, the Wildcats are offside. So let's see what happens this time. Both sides offsides, nullifying each other. The down remains the same, and here we go. 
In motion, the ball to the fullback. Uh, Hecker finds a hole, goes up across the 35, dropped on the 39-yard line. And it'll bring up third down now and about four yards to go. Thornton is a quarterback. Gives and he is. Thornton still has the ball, running, finds room, keep going. First down for the Wildcats up on the 47-yard line. A nice play by the sophomore Thornton. The Wildcats showing a strong, sharp running game here in the opening minutes of the ball game. The ball is given off to the fullback, Hecker, and Hecker is in there for short yardage up to about the 49-yard line. Gain of two, second uh, eight to go. Thornton handling the ball very well. Gives off into his fullback who cuts back through the middle, crosses into Cougar territory. Again on the play of about three yards. Let's make it third down now and just about four yards to go. Wildcats controlling the ball. Thornton looking down the middle, throws it. It's incomplete. Intended for the left end, Elbert Kimbrough. Brings up fourth down and four yards to go. Fourth down, four yards to go. The formation gets his kick off. Steiger and Ellersick are back there. Steiger waits for it. Steiger takes it. Gets away from one man. Turns the corner. Gets his blockers. Here he comes upfield, and he is hit very hard at the 15-yard line. It's first down and 10 yards to go for the Cougars at the 15. And boy, was he cut down. Newman is your quarterback. The Cougars wearing the white uniforms. The give is off to Ketchy. Ketchy spinning up across the 15 to the 17 or 18-yard line. And it's again on the play of about two yards. Let's make it second down, eight yards to go. Newman calling signals. Pitches it off to Steiger. Steiger running. Gets a blocker. Comes across the 20 up to the 22-yard line. And it's third down and about five yards to go. Let's see what Newman elects to do. Fakes his pass. Shoots it downfield. He's got a man. It's over his head. Intended for Cogdell. It's fourth down. The kicking down coming up on the Cougar. 21-yard line. Fourth down. A good snap from Nelson. Newman gets his kick off. It's a high floating kick. Over there to take it is Thornton. Takes it on his 40. Crosses back. Fakes the ball off to uh, Burton. Keeps it and crosses the 40. Still on his feet. Boomed out of bounds at midfield. A nice return by Thornton. And the Wildcats are in position to strike now. Penalty flags are down. Let's check the call. The penalty will go against Northwestern. We'll check for the option in just a moment. Personal foul called on Northwestern. It'll give Washington State College the football. First down and 10 yards to go on their own 36-yard line. A break for the Cougars. First down and 10 for the Cougars getting a break on the personal foul. The ball is off to Stagger. Can't go. Yes, he gets away from one man, and he's fouled out of bounds at the 45-yard line again on a play of about nine yards. It'll bring up second down and just about a yard to go. Newman with the football, back to throw, shoots it out. Ellingson's out there. It is caught by Ellingson. He is out of bounds down inside Northwestern Territory on the Wildcat 44-yard line. First down and 10 yards to go for the Cougars. The ball to catch in the middle. He goes in there for about three yards. Down to the 41-yard line. Second down and seven to go. Both the ends are split. Cogdell and... And it's Steiger caught behind the line of scrimmage. Bill Steiger caught behind the line of scrimmage on a fine play by the center. 56, Andriotti. And it's third down now. And about seven yards to go for the Cougars. Third down, let's watch Newman. Jump pass, good to Ellingson, and Ellie is uh, finally brought down just shy of the 35 at about the 36-yard line. It brings up fourth down at about a yard and a half to go. Fourth and just about two yards, and it's Newman back to throw. Shoots it down, caught by Cogdell. First down on the Wildcat 21-yard line, and the Cougars move close. Newman directing the ball club, being chased in trouble. And down he goes, all the way back on the 31-yard line. A nice play in there by the defensive right tackle for Northwestern. Andy Sparko breaking through to drop him for the loss, all the way back to the 32, 31-yard line. Second down and 20. Oh, a great play by the defensive right side of that Northwestern line. Sprawls Newman back on the 42-yard line, and the Wildcats are breaking through that 
Washington State pass protection and causing Newman trouble. Third down and 31 yards to go. Quick kick, stagger, and he kicks it into the end zone. And it'll be Northwestern's ball. First down and 10 yards to go at their own 20-yard line. And the Wildcats rose up and stopped the Cougars, but good that time. Thornton is a quarterback. And that's Burton in the middle of the line for three yards. Second down and seven for the Wildcats. Off to the fullback, to Fowler, rather. And Fowler is hit very hard as he comes up just about to the, almost to the 30-yard line. It is uh, going to be very close to a first down, just inches short. Pop play off the left side to Burton. He goes for the first down at the 33-yard line. It's first and 10 for the Wildcats. The Wildcat running game working very well. Wilmer Fowler cuts back at the defensive left side of the line and gets in there for yardage up to about the 39-yard line. Second down, four yards to go. The ball off to Burton, and Burton is stopped hard as he gets about a yard, maybe two, up to about the 41. Third down, two big yards to go. The ball is given off to Burton, and it's close as he lunges in there, and he's in for the first down at the 45-yard line. It's first and 10 for the Wildcats. Thornton, the sophomore quarterback, pitches out to uh, Fowler. Good power by Fowler, and he is finally brought down after he picks up on the play just about three yards. Let's make it second and seven. In motion, the ball goes to the fullback, and the fullback turns the corner, gets good blocking. Oh, this Wildcat running game is moving that football as Mark Johnson moves for the first down on the Washington State College 43-yard line with two minutes and 30 seconds left to play in the first quarter. Wildcats, Thornton keeping, running the left side, and he's crunched hard over there. Hit very hard by Steiger, the first man to get to him at the 38-and-a-half-yard line. The Washington State defensive bastions being tested here. It's Fowler in trouble, and he is dropped on the 40-yard line. It'll bring up third down and eight yards to go. Northwestern out of the split tee. It is Thornton back to pass, in trouble, and he is knocked down back on the 50-yard line. A personal foul called against Washington State College on the play. A break for the Wildcats. Each team has had a foul break now. The ball is off to the fullback, Hecker, and it's first down on the Washington State 30-yard line. Correct the ball carry on the last play. It was Fowler. Thornton giving to Burton. Burton dives in there, goes almost to the 25. Again on the play of about four yards. Let's say second down and six, and the Wildcat ground game is moving that football. Thornton calling signals. The give is off to the middleman, number 17, Johnson. He is all the way down to the Washington State College. 13-yard line, it's first down and 10 for Northwestern. And the Wildcats are on the move. The possession on the Washington State 13-yard line, and the score at the end of the first quarter is Washington State College nothing, Northwestern nothing. Now the Cougars have their work cut out for them. It's Johnson at the middle of the line, and he gets about a yard, a yard and a half. The referee marking it off. Let's make it two yards, and it'll bring up second down and eight to go on the Washington State 11-yard line. Let's see what Dick Thornton will call the split tee now. The ball is off to Fowler, and he's inside the 10 to about the 9-yard line. Double flankers now for Northwestern. The ball is pitched back to Burton. He's got some room, and he goes in for the touchdown. Hold everything. Penalty flags are down. Penalty flags are down, and Northwestern has clipped on the play. The touchdown is nullified. The play will be called back, and Northwestern will be penalized 15 yards for clipping. There was no score. Clipping nullified the penalty. It's now third down on the 21, and it's uh, Thornton throwing. It's intercepted by Steiger, and he falls down. It's Washington State's ball. First down and 10 yards to go on their own 20. A nice play by Bill Steiger. 
Boy, the Cougars are living right on that one. It's Jeff Price pitching out to Stagger. Stagger around the corner to the 25-26 yard line. It'll be second down at about five, four and a half to go. Jeff Price is in there, a transfer from every junior college, and again it's Stagger, and Stagger's in trouble. Can't get back to the line of scrimmage, and he's dropped at the 25. And the Northwestern defense is just stunning in there, hitting very, very hard. This young football team by Eric Parsegian. They're not giving you anything. You've got to take it. Now let's see what Jeff Price elects to throw at Northwestern. He gives the ball to Rath, and Rath can't get much running room. He comes up close to the 30-yard line. Northwestern recovers the fumble on the 29-yard line. Northwestern's ball. So the two teams are continuing to exchange breaks here. The ball is off to Fowler. And he's out of bounds at the 24. A nice gain on the play of about five and a half yards. Let's make it... Second down and five for the purple-coated Wildcats. Dick Thornton is still your quarterback, and Thornton keeping. Got some room, and it's a nice play by Dick Thornton. He's brought down on the 16-yard line. It's first down Northwestern, and the Wildcats are really clawing and scratching here. Trouble, Burton hit back behind the line of scrimmage on the 22-yard line as the Washington State interdefensive came crashing through there. Ray Blair, the first man to get to him. Northwestern with two men split, flanked out wide. The give is off to the left halfback, Burton, and he crashes in there pretty close to a first down. It'll be third down and about a yard to go. Chain gang getting me a little confused. It's third and 11. It's Thornton back to throw. Got a man out there. He completes it. No, it's uh, dropped. It's dropped out there. He had his man Kimbro, and it went right through Kimbo's hands. And it's fourth down now and 11 yards to go. The ball resting on the 17-yard line in Washington State Territory. And once again, the Cougars with their back to the wall must stop it once more. Fourth down, 11 yards to go. A big play for Northwestern. A double reverse. Crashing in there. And it's uh, all over the football. And he is stopped short of the first down. Stopped down on about the 17-yard line. And it's Washington State taking over. Once again, they have stopped the hard-running Wildcats. First down and 10 yards to go for Washington State. The ball will be put on the 13-yard line. All right. The Cougar is trying to move that football upfield, having trouble getting going as Ketchy tries to come through there, and bird-dogging on the play is Kimbrough, and he stops him after he picks up almost four yards. Uh, for the sake of conversation, let's say it'll be second down and six yards to go. Leroy Rath, the shaken up, has been uh, taken from the football game. Second down, six yards to go for Washington State. The Cougars wearing the white uniforms now. Quarterback, both the ends are split. And Newman is back to throw that football. Shoots it. And it is complete, a beautiful catch. And it is uh, Gale Cogdale getting room in trouble over there. They finally run him down on the Northwestern 42-yard line. A great play by Gale Cogdale. He lost his balance, almost got away. So it's first down and 10 for Washington State College on the Northwestern 43, and that's the first time the Cougars have really moved the football this afternoon. We are in the second quarter with nine minutes left to play. Newman is the quarterback. And Newman is back, gives that football off to his fullback, Ketchy, and Ketchy gets very little in the middle of the line, maybe a half a yard, and that's all. Ogdell and Ellingson of the ends. It's Newman back to pass, throws it out here. He's got Ellingson, and it's over his outstretched fingertips, and Ellingson goes crashing into the Northwestern dugout. It's incomplete. Second down and 10 to go. Ted Kano is now in the backfield. Newman rolling to the right side. In trouble. Shoots it down the middle, and it's completed down there to Cogdell on the Northwestern 31-yard line. It's a first down for the Cougars. Newman now taking to the air, looking downfield, shooting intended for Kano. It's intercepted by Northwestern. Number 46, Perton intercepts the football, and it's Northwestern's ball on the 29-yard line, first and 10. And so the Wildcats stopping the Washington State march now has uh, taken over possession. And it's Fowler, number 41, hitting at the defensive left side for three yards, second and seven. 
Dick Thornton is the quarterback. The pitch is off to Burton. Burton getting some blocking over there. Nice runner, and he goes up across the 40 before the Cougars can finally gang up and bring him down, and it's a first down for the Wildcats at their own 43-yard line. The ends are split off the northwestern split tee now. It's Thornton dropping back in the middle to pass, being chased now, shoots it out here, and it's incomplete, intended for his uh, right end, number 87, Fred Williamson. It'll be second down and 10 yards to go now for Northwestern with six minutes and uh, 28 seconds remaining to play in the first half. Thornton back to throw again. Got good protection, shoots it, and it's caught this time by Kimbo, and it's... Very close to a first down. The ball resting on just about the 47. It is not a first down. It'll bring up now third down and just about a yard to go. Thornton giving off to his halfback Burton and Burton cracking in there for yardage. First down and 10 for the Wildcats on the Washington State 43. This time the ball goes off to Fowler. Fowler finding a nice hole. That Northwestern line carving that Cougar defensive line up a little bit here in this first half of play. Again on the play of six. Almost seven yards. Second down at about three and a half for the Wildcats. Northwestern Jung team looking very good here this afternoon. The give is off to the halfback Fowler. And this time Fowler gets little or nothing on the play about a yard. It'll be third down and one to go now. Man in motion is Fowler. The give is off to the fullback, and he's in there for the first down, moving down to the Washington State 34-yard line. Cracking in there, Mike Stock, and it's first and 10 for the Cats on the Washington State 28-yard line. Moving the football, he was almost hit back at the 34, moved in there nicely. It's first down and 10 for Northwestern. And there's an offside uh, by both clubs, I believe, and it'll probably nullify it. And it'll be first down and 10, down remaining the same on the 28 in Cougar territory. And in motion is Burton, pitched out to Burton. He's got some trouble back there, and he's dropped on the 31-yard line. A loss on the play of about three yards. Second down and 13 for the Wildcats. Let's see what Dick Thornton elects to do with the ball. He's got it. He's going to pass. And he is knocked down back on the 38-yard line. A nice play in there as uh, number 70 for Washington State came shooting in there. Mike Lindsay and drops him. A long loss on the play. It'll bring up third down now and just about 20, 21 yards to go. Thornton rolling back. And he is... Pulled down by Ted Kano. Lindsay was in there. Kano put the clincher on him. Back on the 45-yard line. And it's fourth down now and about 25 yards to go. Fourth down and about 25 yards to go for the Wildcats. And it's Thornton rolling way back, being pursued. Throws it deep downfield. He's got a man and is caught out of bounds. Incomplete. Caught out of bounds by Fred Williamson. And the Cougars have held the football here and will take it over First down and 10 yards to go on their own 45-yard line with two minutes and 47 seconds remaining to play in the first half. The Northwestern secondary spread now, and it's a pass intercepted. Run right into the hands of Burton. Look at him go. Out of bounds on the Washington State College. 17-yard line as Burton intercepted the pass. It's first down and 10 for the Cats on the 17. That's Thornton giving the football off to Burton, and Burton is down to the Washington State 12-yard line before he is dropped, and it's a gain on the play of five yards, second down and five to go. The Wildcats moving the ball down the middle to Fowler. Fowler inside the 10 to the 8-yard line. It'll be third down and about a yard to go for the first down. Fowler is flanked. That's Thornton. He's to the 5-yard line. It's first down and goal to go for Northwestern on the Washington State 5-yard line. Split T. Thornton. Touchdown for Northwestern. Touchdown for the Cats. 
Thornton kicking. It's good, and the score is Northwestern 7, Washington State, nothing. Al Kimbrough kicking off for Northwestern, back to receive Ellingson and Steiger, and it's Steiger with a football. And he falls down on the three-yard line. It's first and ten for Washington State on the three as Steiger's knee hit the ground. Bob Newman at quarterback. Fumble! That's who recovers it. Northwestern recovers the football on the one-yard line. Let's watch it. Touchdown, Northwestern! Here's the try for point. Stock up. Good. 14 to nothing. Northwestern leads over Washington State with 24 seconds left to play in the first half. Washington State College with the option have elected to kick, hoping for a fumble down near the goal line, perhaps. It is boom down there, picked up by number 46, Purden, and Purden is back to the 25, back to the 30, back to the 32, and there is no fumble on the play. The clock continues to run, and Northwestern maintains possession. Following a kickoff of that type, uh, a touchdown of that type, you have the opportunity to take your option, and the Cougars elected to kick it, hoping for a fumble possibly downfield. Time getting away from us now. And there is the end of the first half with a score standing at the halftime. Northwestern 14 in a loosely played football game. Washington State College nothing. With the score standing 14 nothing, Northwest leading Northwestern leading Washington State College. A surprising development. We look below to 63 Illinois high school bands. Mass on the field below here in Dyke Stadium. Very colorful sight. 63 high school bands from all across the state of Illinois. Looking to the halftime statistics very briefly, Northwestern has gained 160 yards in the first half. Washington State only 91 yards. The Wildcats have 12 first downs. Washington State, five. Northwestern gained 151 yards rushing. Washington State, eight yards rushing. The Cougars, on the other hand, gained 83 yards passing. Northwestern gained only nine. And the score at the end of the first half is Northwestern, 14. Washington State College nothing and the Cougars have their work cut out for them in the second half if they are to get back into this football game. We start the second half of action as Keith Lincoln kicks off for the Cougars. The Cougars electing to kick again and is picked up by Ron Burton of Northwestern. A nice run by Burton. He is back to the 35 yard line. It's first and 10 for the Wildcats. Northwestern outplaying the Cougars, the pitch to Fowler. Nice run up to the 45 yard line. It's a first down for Northwestern, a gain of 11 yards. Dick Thornton, the quarterback. Thornton keeping. All the way down to the Washington State 43 yard line. It's another first down for Northwestern. Wildcats very effective off the Cougar tackles and ends today. That's Burton. He's down to the 38-yard line. Again on the play of about five yards. The backfield is Thornton, Hecker, Burton, and Fowler. And the give is to the fullback on a pop play. Short yardage, about one, one and a half, down to about the 35-and-a-half-yard line. The Wildcats dominating the football game with their ball control and their ground game. That's Burton. Close. First down for the Wildcats. Down on the Washington State 32-yard line. 
First down and 10 on the 32. The ball is given to Fowler. Fowler's in a little trouble, and down he goes. A loss on the play of about two yards. Second down, about 11 and a half yards to go. The ball is kept by Thornton. He pitches it back to Burton, and Burton is corrupt over there on a nice defensive play by Cogdill and by Chuck Morrell. A loss on that play of about three. It'll bring up now third down and about 14 yards to go. Here's the play, a big play. Thornton shooting it out here. It's incomplete intended for his left end, uh, Kimbrough, and it's fourth down now and 14 yards to go for the Wildcats on the balls on the Washington State 36. Thornton is standing back to kick, standing back near the midfield stripe. He's going to kick for the sidelines, angles for Coffin corner. And it's into the end zone. It'll be first down and 10 for Washington State on their own 20-yard line as the Cougars try to get on track here, trailing 14 to nothing. The backfield for the Cougars, it's Newman, Steiger, Morrell, and uh, Phil Mast. And it is Steiger hitting across the 25 to the 26, second down and four yards to go. Steiger again, short of the first down at the 29, third and one. Morrell, it'll be close. First down for the Cougars. Newman at quarterback. Gives the ball to Morrell and he gets nothing. He lost a yard on the play. Chuck Morrell stunted by the middle of that big Wildcat line and uh, the Cats hold him for a yard loss. It'll be second down, 11 yards to go and the Cougars are still not on track. Newman, stand up pass, throws to Ellingson. Ellie's got running room, goes across the 40 yard line, up to the 40 yard line. It'll be very close to a first down. First down, 10 yards to go for Washington State on the 41-yard line. The ball is given off to Stagger. Stagger through the middle, goes up across the 45. He is dropped down at the 48-and-a-half-yard line. Eight minutes left to play. Newman with the football, looks downfield, being pursued. He's in trouble, and he is thrown down all the way back on the 35-yard line. A loss on the play of 13 yards. And another loss on the play as the Northwestern line is completely dominating this football game at this point. And it brings up fourth down, the kicking down, and about 20 yards to go for the Cougars. Good snap. Bad kick. A bad kick. Coming at the 40-yard line. Hits on the 40, bounces around, and rolls dead on the 44-yard line. It's Northwestern's ball, first down and 10, and it was a bad kick by Newman. A good bounce for Northwestern. First down and 10 for the Wildcats. That's Thornton calling signals. Gives off to Hecker, the fullback, and Hecker is up for three yards. Second down and seven to go for the Wildcats. The man in motion given off to Burton. And Burton is in for two. And it's third down, five to go. There was a fumble in the pileup, and the Cougars come up with a football, and now they, they now own the football at the 50-yard line, and it's Bob Newman calling signals. The fumble underneath the pile is given off to Morrell. Morrell back through the middle for two, and that's all he gets. Oh, boy, these Wildcats are hitting hard. That's Newman. It's good to 37 Mast, and Mast is dropped at the 42. Third down, about two and a half yards to go. The ball is given to Steiger. He's going to get his first down. He's got his first down as he goes inside the 40. And it's first and 10 to go for Washington State on the Northwestern 37-yard line. Cook is moving the football better. That's Steiger. Penalty flags all over the place. Steiger is all the way down to the 12-yard line. A nice play by Thornton. Let's see what the penalty is going to be all about. It looks like it might be against Washington State. If so, it'll nullify that long gainer by Steiger. And the penalty is against Washington State. Northwestern draws a personal foul on the play. Northwestern draws a personal foul, and it'll put the football deep in Northwestern territory. Down at about the 13-yard line of the Cougars will own it. First down and 10 will be the deepest penetration of the afternoon for Washington State. Ball is on the 13-yard line, first down and 10 yards to go for the Cougars. That is Newman giving to Mast. 
And Mast is down to the eight-yard line. Again on the play of about four yards, four and a half yards. The Cougars in the white uniforms deep in Northwestern territory. Newman throw, he's got Ellingson. Touchdown, Cougars! Touchdown, Washington State! So it was Newman and Ellingson. They're going to go for the eight. Steiger, and he is stopped short, and the score is Washington State six. Northwestern 14 with two minutes and 58 seconds to play in the third quarter. Dick Koppel will kick off for Washington State College now as the Cougars trail in the ball game 14 to 6. A spinning kick fumbled around, picked up down there by Thornton. Beautiful running by Thornton. And they finally get him at the 39-yard line, and Chuck Morrell had to come over and do it. And now the Wildcats move to the attack, staying on the ground more than likely to keep that clock running and maintain possession. That's Burton. Oh, look out. There he goes. It's going to be a touchdown for Northwestern. Mike Stock kicking up, and it's good, and it's 21 for Northwestern, 6 for Washington State. Kicking off, Kimbrough, it's a high kick. Kano on the 10. Kano at the 30-yard line is hit very hard, and it's Washington State trailing by 15 points. First down and 10 on the 30. Bob Newman is the quarterback. He gives it to Morrell. Morrell is outside. And he's up to the 48-yard line where it's a first down, up to the 47-yard line where it's a first down for Washington State. Newman back to pass, gets better protection. He's got a man, Cogdale, it's good at the 45. Second down, one yard to go for Washington State. Let's see what Newman elects to do. His ball club is behind. It's Mast, and he is dropped for a yard loss. Oh, those Wildcats are in there in a hurry. The Cougar Lion not being able to keep him out. Third down and three now. A big play. Kano, he cannot get it. He gets about two of it back, and it'll bring up fourth down and just about one to go. Morale in there. It's going to be awful close. They may have to measure for this. It's a first down for Washington State College on the 43-yard line, and the third quarter comes to an end with a score standing at the end of the third quarter. Northwestern 21, Washington State College. Bobby Newman calling the signals back to throw. Shoots it down the middle, and he's got a man. It is Ellingson, and Ellingson, no, it is Phil Mass. Number 37 goes all the way down to the 36-yard line. Get on the play of six, and it's second and four. Second and four, that's Newman. Cogdell, he's got him. Oh, it's broken up nicely by Burton down on the 10-yard line. Third down, three to go. That's Kano. He's down at the 35-yard line. He is still a yard and a half short of the first down. It'll bring up fourth down. This could be one of the biggest plays in the entire football game right here. Bob Newman is the quarterback. And Northwestern is offside on the play, and the pass is incomplete right through Cogdale's hands. Let's see what the penalty signal is here. Somebody was offside. If it's against Northwestern, it'll be a great break for Washington State. It was against Northwestern. It'll give the Cougars a first down on the 30-yard line, and they get a real big break late in the ball game. Newman is going to throw it. Cogdell gets it. Cogdell is touchdown Washington State. A great play by Gail Cogdell, and it's now a 21-12 football game as the Cougars come to life. 
And on this play, the Cougars will have to go for two. That's Newman throwing to Cogdale. Oh, he dropped the football, and it's a 21-12 ball game, and the Cougars are still in trouble. They trail now by nine points, and a touchdown and a two-point conversion will not do them any good. 13 minutes and 37 seconds left to play in the football game. The Cougars are down by nine points, and they'll have to get a touchdown and more than a two-point conversion. And now Keith Lincoln will kick off to those dangerous halfbacks, Burton and Fowler. And it's to Burton, who ran 61 yards for a touchdown a few minutes ago against Washington State. Here he comes back up the field. Oh, this fellow is tremendous. And they finally get him at the 34, a fumble, and Washington State College has recovered. No, they have not. They've whistled the play dead, and it remains Northwestern's ball. So the Wildcats now will try to maintain ball control and keep the clock running. That is Fowler, and he's in there for about... Three yards. Second down, seven yards to go. The clock running. The cat's in possession. The pitch is off to Fowler. Oh, they finally get him at the 40-yard line, and it brings... It is third down and five yards to go, and this is a big play in the football game, and uh, through the middle goes Stock, and it's a first down for Northwestern. The Cougars couldn't hold him. Washington State up there now in a six-man line, and uh, Thornton uh, keeps that football, and he gets up to the 50-yard line. And it's again on the play of four yards, make it second down and six for Northwestern. The Northwestern ground game has been particularly effective here this afternoon. They've run the ends very well. Thornton keeping the football, and cuts back, gets short yardage, but good yardage. Very close to the first down. It'll bring up third and just about one, maybe one and a half to go. And again, we've got a third down and a big play. Through the middle goes Fowler, and he goes down to the 41-yard line, and it's a first down for Northwestern, and the Wildcats ground game continues to grind away with 10 minutes and uh, 40 seconds left to play in the football game. Split T formation. Ball given to Fowler. Oh, look at this fellow carry that football. He goes across the 30, and they'll mark the football on the 28-yard line, and it's a first down for Northwestern. Dick Thornton, a sophomore, a tremendous sophomore. That's Burton. Oh, look at this guy carry that football down to the 19-yard line. And it's almost another first down. Second down, two yards to go. Northwestern, the ball on the 18-yard line. The ball is kept by Thornton, and he lunges in there and gets his first down at the Washington State 16-yard line. It's first and 10 for Northwestern, and the Wildcat ground game is chewing up the middle of the Cougar line. Dick Thornton with the football, gives it off to Burton, and Burton is down near the 10-yard line. Second down, six yards to go, and again it's to Burton, and he is down to about the six-yard line. Oh, this fella can hit that line for you. Very close to another first down. It'll be third down and just about one to go. The chain gang brought in to check it. Just short, about eight inches short. Thornton, first down, Northwestern, first down and goal to go on about the four-yard line in Cougar territory, and the Wildcats are threatening again, leading 21 to 12 with eight minutes left to play in the football game. Now they're going to measure again. It's that close. But it lacked only about eight inches before, and it all looks like it's progressed past the five-yard line, so this will probably be a first-and-goal situation for the Wildcats. It is a first down. Now the Wildcats could possibly ice it real good. It's Fowler hitting inside the defensive right tackle, hitting over his own left side, and moves it down to just about the three-yard line. It'll bring up second down and three yards for the touchdown. Second down, three yards to go for the touchdown. It's Stock hitting right up near the goal line. A pile up of players in there. Morrell is in there. Berry is in there. Ellersick is in there. No, it's Nelson on the bottom. So it is now third down and less than a foot. The ball almost touching the goal line. Almost touching the goal line. And a touchdown here would put the Cougars almost out of the ball game, it would seem. But this is an explosive football team. 
Third down and just inches for the touchdown. Let's watch Thornton, the quarterback. Touchdown, Northwestern! Wildcats are going to go for the two. That's Thornton rolling back. He's got a man. It's good for two points. Completed to Kimball and the score now is Northwestern 29, Washington State College 12, and we have six minutes and 54 seconds left to play in the football game, and those young Wildcats down below are playing themselves quite a football game this afternoon. Kicking off a Northwestern, Ray Purden deep for Washington State College, Keith Lincoln and Don Ellisick, and the ball goes over the end zone, off the field of play, and it'll be first down and 10 yards to go for Washington State on their own 20-yard line, and the Cougars are now 17 points down. And look at those kids go after that football over there. A big mob over in the end zone, battling over the football. That's probably a football Northwestern University will never see again. Dave Wilson is the quarterback now for Washington State. Wilson pitches back to Lincoln. Here comes Lincoln across the 20 to the 22. Very little running room given by these uh, purple-clad uh, Wildcats this afternoon. They have been tough, surprisingly tough. A 15-yard penalty assessed against Washington State College. Illegal use of hands. I put the ball in play on the 11-yard line. That's Keith Lincoln running to the right, throwing the ball downfield. He's got Cogdale, and Cogdale is out there all by himself. Let's see if Purden can run him down. Cogdale still going, still going down to the 22-yard line. A tremendous play. Keith Lincoln hit Cogdale, and the Gator takes them all the way to the Northwestern 22-yard line, where it's first down and 10, and six minutes and 15 seconds remain to play. Oh, a tremendous pass play. The Cougars are back, knocking on the door. Wilson at quarterback. That's Morrell. They get him at the nine-yard line. First down, goal to go on the nine for Washington State. Let's see what Davey Wilson elects to do with it. Gives it to Morrell. Morrell down to the two-yard line. A nice run by Chuck. Second down, about three yards to go. Touchdown, Cougars, as Morrell dives in, and the score now is Washington State 18, Northwestern 29. Dave Wilson electing to go for two. That's Morrell. He's in the end zone for the two-pointer, and the score now is 29 to 20. Northwestern leads Washington State. Look out for an onside kick as Don Ellingson comes up. And it's an onside kick, all right. It's taken by number 72, Gossage, and he falls down immediately. It's Northwestern's ball, first and 10 on the 45-yard line in their own territory. The score is 29 to 20, and four minutes and 50 seconds remain to play in the football game. Let's watch the action as Northwestern load out, call on the ground game to keep the ball moving and the clock running. Thornton is back in there at quarterback, along with Burton, Fowler, and Hecker. And the ball is given off to Burton. Hit hard as he comes up across the line of scrimmage and picks up three, second and seven. Dick Thornton, the fine sophomore at quarterback. Picks up yardage on the play, brings up third down and uh, three yards to go now for Northwestern, third and three. Let's see what happens. Could be a big play. The pitch is off to Fowler. He falls down short of the line of scrimmage, and he brings up fourth down. No gain on the play. Delay of the game penalty, five yards assessed against Northwestern. And now it's fourth down, and more than likely a kicking down here. They had a chance to go for the first down. Now they must kick with fourth down and about eight yards to go. Of course, that's not a bad way to use up that clock, you know. You can stand a five-yard penalty when you're nine points ahead, and the punt goes off. It's going down to Ellingson. Ellingson gets a good block down there. Oh, a beautiful block. And Ellie is out of bounds at the 16-yard line. Oh, somebody threw a honey of a block down there for him. It's first down and 10 for Washington State at their 16. Well, sir, the leather will probably fly here. The ball is given off to Morrell. Turns the corner. Gets up to the 20-yard line. Gets on the play about three yards. A little more. Make it uh, four and call it second and six. With two minutes, 15 seconds remaining to play. Wilson. Going to pass. Throws it. Good to Cogdale. And Cogdale's got some room. Look out for this one. There he goes. He's got a protection of blockers now. That's only Fowler. 
Fowler's the only man, and it's a touchdown, Washington State College, and the score is now 29 to 26. Oh, a beautiful play, a great run by Cogdell. What a football player this fella is. All I can say about that last one is, wow. Wilson, that's Lincoln. Two points, 29 to 28, as Fanning catches it in the end zone in a minute and 41 seconds left, left in the ball game and the score. Northwestern 29, Washington State 28, and what a tremendous finish we're getting here in Evanston. Well, you begin to see the importance now of that uh, two points. Ball is rolling, rolling, rolling. It did not travel the required 10 yards, and Northwestern will take over. The ball did not travel the required 10 yards. Northwestern gets possession at their own 49-yard line. Thornton gives the ball off to Burton, and Burton is crunched as he gets into Cougar territory at the 47. The Wildcats trying to run out that clock now. The ball is given off to Burton again. He's into the middle of the line, and he's piled up after short yardage. It'll bring up third down at about two to go. Third down at a little more than two yards for Northwestern. The ball is given to Burton again, and he's hit. Falling forward to just about the line of scrimmage. It's going to be very close to a first down. They'll bring in the change in measure. Just by a net's eye, a first down, and Thornton keeps the ball, dives into the line as the clock starts to run away from us now. We've got less than 50 seconds remaining in the football game. The clock getting away, a tremendous finish here. The Cougars have counted three times in the final quarter. It's 29 to 28. Northwestern, the only time they chose to go for the two, they got it. And that is the difference in the two football teams so far here this afternoon. Washington State having missed uh, the point after attempt on two occasions. Northwestern up to the line. 25 seconds left to play in the football game, and the Wildcats are not fumbling that football away at all. It's Burton into the middle of the line. 20, 19, 18 seconds, clicking away now. It is 29 to 28, a tremendous finish for a crowd of about 35,000 here in Dyke Stadium in Evanston this afternoon. The Cougars are going to lose this one. The Wildcats are going to run out the clock. And it's all over. Northwestern has upset Washington State College in a thriller, 29 to 28, as the Cougars could not get untracked in the first half of play. Northwestern dominated the first half, left the field leading 14 to nothing, went ahead 21 to 6. We'll have closing comments for you in just a couple of seconds. The final score, Northwestern 29, Washington State College 20. Eight. Well, sir, it's a pretty happy crowd filing out of the Dyke Stadium here this afternoon because it's been a long time since uh, a Northwestern football team played as well as this team played here this afternoon. The final score again was 29 to 28. It was a ball game marked with thrills in the final stages of the game, and uh, there were some who thought perhaps the Cougars, with some luck, might have pulled the ball game out. The ball game was lost in the first half. And uh, throughout the afternoon, everybody seemed most impressed by the power and uh, the determination of this fine young team coached by Era Prosigian. The infantry had its day. The final score again was 29 to 28. Next Sunday afternoon, we invite you to watch Washington State and California from Berkeley. Now this is Keith Jackson speaking for cameraman Dick Cameron saying we'll see you next Saturday with more Cougar football. West Coast Airlines. Serving the Pacific West provides transportation for these sportscasts. Fly the brilliant new Fairchild F-27 prop jet liners on West Coast Airlines.